Looking, Looking for, for a stress-free stress summer? summer? HelloFresh sends you foolproof step-by-step -step recipes and fresh pre-portioned ingredients to make mealtime a summer breeze. Get 16 free meals plus free gifts with code UNFILTERED16 at HelloFresh.com slash UNFILTERED16. Thank you, HelloFresh. Does your water smell weird? I mean, I've never really smelt my water before. I only smell it when somebody, dr like if somebody drinks out of my water oh. and we don't know whose bottle is, I'm able to tell you probably based off of their, their <coughs> breath left yeah. on it. Cause most likely you're smelling, you're yeah. smelling your breath on the exactly. Lid. And most likely they've eaten something in the past few hours and I can smell it. <laughs> cool. so, your, so your breath Wait, just smells like ass, Matt. Same, that's no, pretty I, cool. Yeah. I brushed my teeth before I came over and I had a <laughs> smuckers. That's what you're smelling. Peanut butter. That smells like pond water. Do you have, it also is freaking pure life. Pure life. Do you watch? Right. Do you watch the water guy on yes. TikTok? He's like, that's like, not good water. That's not good water. This, this is, is good water. Matt, take this your ointment no. off the table. Oh my <laughs> <man>. <laughs> Shit. Is that your psoriasis? Psoriasis, my, psoriasis ointment? Yes, this is uh, an ointment I have to take for my psoriasis. Oh. It ha. I, I want to say it has gotten better, but it has gotten worse since the last time I was here. Oh man. Um, is but, it because this trip that you took? I think so. I mean, in a way, I guess I was like kind of drinking during it. And so it's been inflamed, but I'm Oof. so itchy right now. It's down my side. Oh, it's on the inside of my arm. Oh man, that's really bad. But look at the out, the outside of my arms are better than how the outside of my arms. Than they usually are. Than they usually are. So be it's careful, just, Mariah. Don't get too close. It's not <laughs> contagious. Yeah, so. I, Matt, I, th oh, I think I'm, I'm, I'm no doctor, obviously. I just think that drinking doesn't help at all. Correct. But it helps with the pain. <laughs> That's right. It helps numb it. It makes well, it, do, it doesn't. It doesn't hurt. It's just really itchy, right? Yeah. It makes me comfortable in my own skin. Yeah. Um. I I know. I but the biggest thing is the medication that I'm on, and that seems to be working. But I am itchy, so pardon if I scratch myself. I brought I'll, my. I'll do it for you. Yeah. Just don't do it by the mic. We don't need any everybody listening to hear you scratch I'll your psoriasis off you. your back. Oh. oh. <laughs> right. Don't use the same. Back. Use the oh same yeah, Bubba, be careful. <clears throat> oh, right there, right there, right there. That's the spot. <laughs> Scratching your own back, even with one of those, doesn't feel as good as somebody else doing it. Not oh, yeah. at all. It's just the the act of you doing it to yourself. It's just like- yeah. Because what you're it, putting all the energy into yeah. that when you should be relaxed. Right, right. You have to be relaxed in order to enjoy a massage or a back stretch. Oh. That's kind of like people say, if you fan yourself, <clears throat> you end up getting hotter yeah. yeah. because you're using the energy, energy to do this. No way. Yes. Yeah. It feels good in the moment, then you stop and you just worked out. Cause, Cause, you're, you're, cause yeah. you're doing this much movement yeah. with your wrist. It continuously, yeah. I guess it like raises your heart rate. Something about like yeah. doing that, putting the energy and effort into that. Is I actually sweat when I'm just standing up. still. So yeah. I get it. Have you heard that thing about running in the rain? That if you, oh, run, yes. if you run in the rain, you will get more wet than the, if you walk in the rain? Yeah. They did this on Mythbusters. So they basically had um, a wetsuit that they put on to like capture the water. Yep. They had a person who walked in the rain and then they measured the wetsuit after it to see if it was heavier <laughs> than if a person who ran in the rain. And if you run in the rain, you get more wet yeah, because you're, catching you're running. It in the front. You're running into more rain drop, drop, drops. Oh, when I get when that. you're walking slow, it's just it's pretty just much dropping from the past top. you. Yeah, yeah. the top. Cool. It's pretty simple when you think about yeah. it. Actually. It makes sense. Yeah, I know. But then you feel like the asshole when it's actually <clears throat> raining and like people yeah. are running. You're like, actually, guys, <laughs> if we slow down, everyone's like, shut up, just run. <laughs> yeah, that's so interesting. <clears throat> well, that's good. Yeah, guys. So don't uh, run in the rain. Walk. Right. Yeah. It's also more dangerous. It's slippery. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. All right, you ready for this? Yes, let's do it. All right, all right. It's coffee talk, baby. Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh, hey. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Welcome back to Zane and Heath Unfiltered. I'm Zane. I'm Heath. I'm Matt. I'm Mariah. And we're, and we're unfiltered. unfiltered. Welcome <laughs> back. Welcome back on this Monday and Tuesday morning. Hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful morning and a wonderful day. Whoops. I forgot to turn off my phone. That is okay, Zane. That's my financial advisor. He said that we're not doing very well this month. <laughs> he said, cancel the cards. You can't yeah. use them anymore. And it's not very, been a good month. He, yeah, he's very um, transparent with me. When he says, I'm, when I'm not doing a good, when, when I'm not having a good month, he goes, so you're not having a good month. He phrases it like that. Mm -hmm. I would be like, you're performing less than you did last month. <laughs> We're not, not on like track. Bad. That's too professional. I don't like that. Yeah. You have to be straightforward with me. You know how I am. Okay, sure. But I, I know, I know how you get mood wise. So <laughs> <laughs> I just you need to cradle it a little bit better. Probably not the best text to read right before going into this. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I know. 
That's all right. No, it's good. It's just, good. It's fine. We'll, we'll pick it up. Please I'm, watch this episode, guys, I'm all kidding. the way through. Oh, we haven't recorded. It feels like we haven't recorded in a long time, but it really feels like we just recorded, which is Because it truly crazy. has been like two weeks. Yeah, yeah. two yeah. weeks. You've been gone for a lot. You took that break and you ran with it, baby. I did. I did. Ran with it. I just didn't want to come back for two days, you know, because we were going to Alabama for Hangout Fest. Patricia got a brand deal, which I was so happy about. Okay. You know, I get to be the plus one. I get to enjoy. And then um, we are already going to stay in Alabama the next weekend. So we stayed. Good trip. Yeah. Yeah. Good trip. Good trip. Hangout Fest on the on the beat. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm just, just, a very, just a very itchy trip. It was a very that. itchy <laughs> trip. But um, I had a good time. I wish I had like something fucking crazy to say, but it may come uh, to me. That's all right. Like, Take your time. Yeah. You're probably drinking too. So it'll like come. It'll come to you in those moments. Correct. You know, you forgot a lot of things. Correct. Happening. I haven't seen you guys since before we left for Pennsylvania, right? That's right. Y'all left for PA. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot you even. That left. feels like so long ago. That did feel like a really long uh, time ago. We went for a uh, what five-year-old's wedding. <laughs> It oh, was the yeah, most it like extravagant yeah. thing I've ever seen. Everybody it was thought a it was a wedding and they were so confused. Mara, I was hollering when I was watching your stories. <laughs> what the hell was going on at so, that? At the, so it was a birthday or what, what was it? It was a communion. It was a communion. A commu so he's in second grade. <laughs> Second grade and got all that? How much yeah. is something like that? It will be nice. But that it, was more than a lot of weddings I've been to. Uh, yeah. That I, is a traditional Staten Island Italian Catholic party. Shit. So I, that's normal. What, yeah. Like all those stories with the tug of war in the middle of the ballroom normal. and the yeah. fucking magician with the birds, that's all normal, normal. or something yeah. like that. We, <laughs> we have videos of all our communions with the same... Probably the same DJ, same like it's you, doing the same uses thing. The same people. I, <laughs> there was other communions going on in the same like complex that we were at, and they were literally just as extravagant. Yeah, they they, they had these like smoke guns that were like shooting out like oh like, like no no was, like fog machines. That oh, were supposed to be and on they the were ground, these they, kids were just like spraying <laughs> it. It was it was unreal. <laughs> And this is for receiving the body of Christ for the first time. <laughs> I know. Y'all yeah, celebrate for Jesus. Yo, he was having the time of his life up Jesus. there. Yeah, I didn't get a party at all for my communion. I, I think I was the only person who really didn't. Cause oh. I, mine was in my backyard. Oh, okay. <laughs> I went bowling for my communion party. <laughs> But that's probably because God knew I wasn't going to get confirmed in that. You know what I mean? That's two, I, that's two different things. No, I know, but I never oh. got confirmed. I did oh, the two and didn't get confirmed. <laughs> that's so funny. I think I think God was like, oh, we're not going to give you a good party because oh, you're not going to make funny. it through. Because you're Maybe never committed to anything. At this place, it's just like a bunch of different rooms and different parties are going on. So we had our party. And then my dad, of course, recognized somebody from the other party. So he texted him and said, hey, are you at this place right now? And the guy texted back. Yeah, who's this? And my dad said, "Meet me in the lobby." And I was like, "That's." I wouldn't. Like, I wouldn't have gone. Yeah, but first of all, you're in Sun Island, and that's like mob energy. Like, don't do that. <laughs> so, Wait, where you started, he just got a random. You said text. He texted. My dad texted his friend that he saw. And got it. Okay. He hasn't seen this guy in <clears throat> 25 years. Okay. All right. So he recognized him, and he met in the lobby, and they freaked out, and of course, they wanted to meet my dad's kids. So we all had to go to this other. So now we're partying with both people. And we're at this stranger's party and um, it was cool. Like the the grandson of him actually ended up knowing who me and Heath were. And the, the guy was so confused. He was like, he was what? Like, Wait, I don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah, I was so confused. You should have opened that wall. You know how they, in schools, they'll have that wall. That's what oh. it's a yeah, wall. Yeah, you should have yeah. opened that yeah. bitch up, make it a fucking yeah. giant ball fucking. It was really, really fun. Good food, good favors. We, loves of bread and bottles what? of wine. They the were favors. like colored birds though. Did they have like yeah. some doves that were like yellow and pink? It was, was a like, magician. He was really good, but he. We all called him the the. <laughs> It's a little inhuman. We all we all called him the cocaine magician <laughs> because he was just like this. He didn't say a word. He just <sighs> and was just yeah. Didn't talk at all, but so he just had like funny. just kind of like super jittery and like it was it was interesting. It was hysterical. Um, but he was so, incredible though. Yeah, he was real. Like he had one bird, and then you blink, and he literally grabbed it, and then two. Two it came was, out. Did you what? record one when he was doing a trick or you didn't? You just recorded him have, playing yeah, with the birds. Yeah, I have plenty of videos of him doing tricks. He was good. He was really good. But it was Grabbing the kids' heads and like spinning <laughs> yeah, their heads. Just, so I love all the accents though. Like, was, it, yeah. was that your aunt? Like, it, that was my cousin. Your cousin. So my, yeah, you can tell that was her cousin, not aunt. She was way too young. So my, I, I don't know. <laughs> my oldest cousin, Tiffany, She's the <laughs> oldest of the group. It was her son's communion. Okay. Yeah. So that's, and I told Heath that I was like, this is the first communion for all the cousins' kids. So you have to 
Now you have to go through at least 30 more of these. Oh man, and wow. the bar has been set. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, definitely very like traditional. <laughs> we got to beat birds, hun. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But and it was you, cool. And you have to, and now you got to go to every single one, right? All 30? Oh, of course, you can't miss it. Yeah. Did you have anything like that? No, Like that? Absolutely, no way. For your faith? <laughs> For, <laughs> oh, oh, in the in the Muslim religion. Yeah. Um, no, no, nothing like, when nothing think, that I've experienced usually. There was nothing like there wasn't an age break you became a man or anything. Uh, no, I think I that happens like you when you're when you get. Can you remind me? I'm like. I'm, I feel like I'm that you told me near. about a tradition that happens because you, you yeah. had that. Uh, I, I don't remember the name of it, but it was that like white outfit in the back of your trunk one time. <laughs> the j just the and you were like, oh, I have to wear this when I go to these type of like. Uh, oh yeah, just weddings. Oh, that's just for weddings. Yeah, just weddings. Oh, okay. you, like when when. When you wear you to, white to a wedding? No, no, no. When you go oh. to a wedding, it's no, it's actually <laughs> and, and he's in a full like bridal gown. <laughs> it's a complete opposite of like a normal wedding. It's actually very colorful. People are wearing all different types of colors. And oh, cool. The <clears throat> what I've seen, the bride is usually in like a either a dark maroon or by the way, this is like a <clears throat> these are like Pakistani weddings I'm talking about, not like really Muslim weddings. Okay. This is just the weddings that weddings that I've like experienced as a kid. Yeah. Because my stepmom is Pakistani gotcha. and we'd always go to those weddings. But <clears throat> on my dad's side, Arab weddings, I really never experienced or not that I remember of any yeah. Arab weddings, but Arab weddings, I've, I've seen a lot of Arab weddings where it's like, you know, like almost like a normal wedding, you know, every, like the- Everybody does it different, <clears throat> yeah. Everybody. That's the one where I was telling you that they separate the men and the woman. Oh, so, right, I remember that. So That's you, you, you don't even see any woman when you go to the wedding, you see just the, wild. The, the groom and all the men. Wow. Yeah, That's it was so really interesting. interesting. And I was young too, so I was confused. Have you ever <clears throat> crashed a wedding? No, I feel like, it, like is that people actually do that? It's possible? Yeah. Actually, I have. You have? You crashed a wedding? Well, yeah, uh, Natalie's friend's wedding. I, we were never oh, invited. Oh, <laughs> yeah. We were never invited. We were sitting in the hotel room. Natalie's like, don't come. Like, you, like, you know, don't come, don't come. You're not like, because I, we just showed right. up. To, I forget what city we were in, but me, Jason, and Susie, we were just, we, we we all fucking went out shopping, bought expensive outfits for this wedding. But come to find out, we weren't even fucking invited to this wedding. Well, so also we David David the, does do that thing like, no, 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 just come, it'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah he doesn't understand that weddings like there is there are plates for people, there right. are seats like they are paying per person, so it's exactly. like exactly. So we had to sit there for like two hours. We're oh, all no. in, just in the hotel room. We're like. What are we doing oh, here? It was no. really depressing. And then we just we just went. We we're like, fuck <laughs> it. And by that time the bride was drunk as shit. And oh, then so we were you're like, good. oh, you're fine. Yeah. 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 You just gotta you, wait till they're drunk. How would you get away with that with a stranger though? Because they're our seating arrangements and everybody has a name tag. Now when just, everyone's up. You just wait till like the dancing. Wait till like the, the food's, food's done. over. Yeah, it's yeah. at the very end. And just yeah. say you're Uncle Ted's kids, you know? No one's like ever gonna yeah. question like, well, wait, who who are right. you? Because even if, even at your wedding, you're not gonna really question anybody that's there. No. I, I I feel like I would. Not really. Just think about it. Think about like all the different people that are coming from her side and your yes. side. You're not gonna really know. I, I, oh, I guess if you do like there. plus ones there, and stuff exactly, like that. Right, yeah. Yeah. There will be people at your wedding who you have never, never seen met. before. Isn't yeah. that wild? That is weird. Because oh. your plus one could be anybody. Right. I bet your wedding must be exhausting though. All the small talk though, you have to like. Oh yeah. Oh, you're the, thank you're the you so star. much. You look oh, beautiful. Thank, thank you. You. <laughs> you guys drove from Columbus. Thank you, you guys for coming. Oh wow. You know that thank thank you. you know the table where the bride and the groom sit <laughs> yeah, that yeah, long yeah, table. Yeah. I would just be there the whole time. Yeah, just I'm not, not getting up. I'm not getting and, up. And everybody wants to take a picture with you. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> oh my crazy. god. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, that does seem stressful. Yeah. You know what I just saw on TikTok? The uh, somebody had at their wedding. It was like a, a, a phone thing where the you, voice you get. Uh, I love. I love that. that. Wait, I think it's so cute. Describe what it is. So it's uh, it was. It be, this is the the TikTok that I saw. It's um, it's pretty much a phone that's like hooked on a thing, like one of the old school phones. Mm -hmm. And they had it at uh, at a table at a wedding, and people just come throughout the night and pick up the phone and leave a little voicemail and then you save it. It's a guest book, oh, but cute. a phone. It's yeah. audio. You and, leave a voicemail. And uh, you know, they'll listen to it probably in like 10, 20 years. Um, yeah, they're putting it at the intro of like a rap album or something. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Like, hey, this is your Aunt Marge. Just wanna <laughs> say, I've always believed in you. <laughs> Cheers to you guys. Love you. Oh yeah, I remember uh, my, my best friend in Florida, Austin, he had his bar mitzvah and he told me how much he made. How much? 
It was like eleven grand or yeah. something. What? what? You can make that, and it, that's what. He, and that's I how, was like, I'm getting you communitized. Get that. <laughs> no, <laughs> you get that to bar mitzvah. I, like, bar mitzvah. I was freaking. I remember getting pissed. I was like, I need to be Jewish. Uh, I was like, I need to have one of these. Why do I not have something like that? Some of it will go back to paying off of the bar mitzvah too, That's like true. what you had spent for the party. Oh, really? It does. I thought it was just but a gift his, for you. His You're parents. Like let him keep that shit. Yeah, I feel I, like most parents will let him keep it. I feel that. like that's such like a trope in like kids <laughs> movies where it's like, oh, I gotta get my bar mitzvah money or like, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. do we have any money? Let's pull together. It's like, well, I have my some in my bar mitzvah yeah. or my bar mitzvah. Dude, especially when you're, you're that young, that money goes a long yeah. fucking way, man. Oh, are you kidding you're me? You're good for the next three years with I that money. I didn't see that much money until this year. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot. Do you have to, that's crazy. Do you have to file like taxes for that shit? Like, <laughs> right? Like, yeah. Do they? Or is because it's a know. gift? Kids these days are smart because they're on TikTok. I feel you like immediately cash it out so he doesn't pay Back then, I feel like people were leaving cash in the envelopes. It was cash, yeah. I feel like we need to normalize that for like non Jewish culture, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. I'd, yeah. I'd, I'd give your kid a hundred bucks if you gave my kid a hundred bucks. So we kind of keep that. Yeah. Keep that going. I like that. And then you're also just breaking even. I guess that you know what I mean. Day. I don't know. But, but it's going I, to your but it's going to your kids. It's like a fun way to like give your kids money without giving them money. I exactly. always think about that with Christmas presents. I'm like, I'm spending this money to give people gifts, but then like it's kind of like I'm buying it for myself. Like yes, in a way, I'm buying myself mystery presents. But the the better you <laughs> gift that w one person, the better gift you're gonna get back. So it's almost like a yeah. But it, you have to wait a year because they have to see what you got them, and they're gonna be like, oh, he gave me this last year. Now I gotta go. Give it's like a something. fun little challenge. Yeah, I would <laughs> hate if someone bought me something super fucking cool or expensive. I because I'm the worst at gift. Because then you're like, giving. shit. Yeah, I don't even know oh, what to get speaking, my mom every year. Speaking it's of so gift hard. giving, I have a gift to give you right now. You have to gift from. You got a gift for me. I have a gift you for get, you. Get, 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 get gift for me. Yeah. What's the gift? Here, close your eyes. Uh, you close your eyes too. Me and Malcolm, it's Miss Juicy baby. <laughs> <laughs> and she's in. She's we, doing much better now. By the we way, we all bouncing up. We all. Um. So this is something that I made for you, special, and I. Want you to have it, Zane, as a token. It's, it's a big pile of shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's my token to you. When right. should I open my eyes? Here, bring it in. <laughs> <laughs> this Jordan's gonna be mooning it. <laughs> you can open your eyes. Turn and look. Whoa! Whoa! Who made that? I did. <laughs> no, you did it. Yes, I did. You went to a rug factory? No, I, he did I it in the backyard. A, I bought a, a carpet gun. Shut up. Yeah. I have been so close to buying one of those. You own one uh -huh. now. I Wait. made it. Don't look at the back. <laughs> It's it's got he wants to see the back. It's got glue on it, so it's hardening right now. But I worked on this all fucking day. Yeah. Did you? Oh, wait, it took you one day to do this? Yeah. Dude, really? that's not, fast. Which is not normal. That's so cool. You own one now, so we can make rugs. Yeah. So I we we bought the yarn for it. How's it and then look on the ground? You look. Yeah. Did put it. Got, oh, this will look great on the set. Oh, cute. Whoa. Did you, did you have to get a projector wait, to crazy. project it on? So yeah. So you uh I. Blow, I blew up the image and I projected it on the. Uh, <laughs> so the, the hardest part is you have to build a wooden frame out. Yes, you had to build that, or did you buy one? Uh, me and Jordan. That and then ass, you guys. take uh, you take the canvas and then you stretch it over and then you have to nail the canvas all around the box and you have to make it super tight. Then I shot the projection onto it and then I outlined the Cremota symbol and then pulled it off and then you set it up and then you put the yarn in for the color that you want and then uh -huh. you take the carpet gun and you have to go and you literally are sewing it in. I love rug TikTok. I've watched people yeah. make these all the time. It was, and then you have, at the end of it, you then you have to shave it kind of down, right? To even it out. Like you, the, you on can, the other side. if you want to get like level, like layers or however you want to do it. That looks great. How long did the whole thing take? Like from the moment you, after you, scan or uh, traced it. Like the moment you hit the gun to the canvas, how long? I honestly think like four or five hours. Okay. Yeah, it was a while. Did you fuck up at all? Was you like, shit, shit, shit? No, it surprisingly. It, there was definitely a learning curve. By the end of it, my lines were fucking brrr. I was like, I was wow. on it towards the end. Now that, I, now that I know how to do it, and I got one under my belt. So how it's it's if got if you're doing something intricate. The glue underneath is drying. So. If you're if you're doing something intricate, it's fine because as long as you get like as long as it. Or do you have a projector that like that's mirroring exactly where you need where you need to sew all the colors in? So you outline it and then you just know what color has to be what. Yeah. Damn, that's cool. But yeah, it's it's really awesome. 
I had so much fun doing it. Yeah. It was really soothing. I don't know how to explain. I guess that's like what you feel like when you're doing like yeah. knitting. When I'm knitting. Yeah, you're just using your hands. It's like, I don't know. How much did it, how much did it cost for that whole thing? I think the gun was like 150 oh. and then you got to buy the the yarn. yarn for it and then build the two by four, get the canvas for it. Once you have that two by four thing built, that's yeah. that's the thing you need. I'm excited to do more though. I want to come it's, do one. Yeah, it's I really, really fun. Do one too. That's, it's really fun. What would Damn. I design? <laughs> <laughs> I don't you, could do, you could do any, that carpet that's under our table in the living room. I feel like that. Yeah, was, you could do stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but some people get crazy with it. You can get like insanely good and you can go in and you basically take like hair clippers uh -huh. yeah. um, and you could put different levels on it so you can make that uh, oh, yeah. the like the Komodo dragon raised up and you can have the orange be shaved a little bit lower so it's like 3D and stands out. Oh, okay, that was my next question. I, how far could you go when it comes to like details on the rugs? You can, you can go crazy with it. Damn, <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, but yeah. It, it was really fun. I loved it. Cool. cool. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, you absolutely. Go. I'm proud of you guys. Did you guys film the whole process? Uh, yeah, I filmed like most of it. I could show you guys what it looks like. Cool. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. I loved it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I don't have any. I, I don't. Have you didn't make me. You. you didn't make me a rug. No, I didn't make you a rug. <laughs> that was the last thing I was expecting. Was a fucking <laughs> really? a rug. rug. Yeah. Your uh, your assistant came over and was like, "This is really cool. Like, where did you get this done?" And Jordan was like, "We made it." She was like, "Yeah, but where did you have it made?" And he's like, no, we literally <laughs> made it. I, did, I just didn't even know you could do stuff like that. Yeah, I've, I mean, I've seen all the TikToks for it. Just in my head was like, this is very intricate and probably really expensive. You to have to go this. to school to it's like learn how to do it. Exactly. Because yeah. yeah. like, the way when like the way they edit it and put it together, it makes it it makes it seem like it's very very hard to do it. Yeah. But it, but it wasn't that hard to do it. It's not that it's like insanely difficult. It's just patience. You have to be like. It's kind of like coloring, you know, you can't, it's not just, or drawing something. You kind of got to like take yeah. your time with it and knowing how to like put, like how hard to push into it, how fast you can do the line. Cause it just sometimes like, would it ever get like tangled or like it would it, not up? It, You'd it, be like, oh shit. No, it's just sometimes the, the yarn will pull out of it and then you got to rethread it back through. Oh, um, okay. Yeah. You got to be careful too. Cause it's, it's a big thick needle, probably like this wide and to a point. Wow. Quick. And it goes, bah, 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 and it goes in and out. So you can rip a hole through the rug and like fuck it up. So you have oh. to be like super careful. What would I make? My dumb, <laughs> my dumb ass would be. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> has a whole yard going through. But the the He's weirdest hanging. thing, as I was doing it, um, my middle finger started going numb the whole time, and like I couldn't feel my. I still can't feel my finger. Is there vibration from the? Uh, I don't know if that caused it, but I have no feeling in my finger. I think you might have some. Yeah, and it's, it's been maybe it was the constant like just um, like I don't know, but it's been it. numb for like ten hours. Does it feel oh, cold? Weird. Yeah, it feels like you know when you sit. Uh, isn't and your your feet go numb and it's tingly, like you feel that sensation yeah, and they're kind of cold. Why is it not going away? I don't know. It's the weirdest thing. Maybe how bizarre. How, well, how bizarre. Well, sleep on it and let us know if you feel that finger. That's, <laughs> I know. I'm that's kind of that's kind of that's kind of. Uh, he, he wakes up his whole <laughs> like, like <laughs> <and> stuff like. <laughs> no, he wakes up. He just can't move. <laughs> I am uh, getting a little nervous though. Anyways, that's that's my rug. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this episode, SeatGeek. Summer concerts are here, and that means you can get $20 off tickets at SeatGeek with promo code UNFILTERED. And if you don't already know what SeatGeek is, it is a ticketing app that makes buying tickets super simple, and we got the app right on our phone. It is by far the easiest and best way to buy tickets. With so many amazing concerts and festivals happening right now, you're not going to want to miss out. I'm talking The Weeknd, Doja Cat, mm. Justin Bieber, mm. Olivia Rodriguez, okay. Shawn Mendes, what? and so much more. Mariah and I actually have tickets to see the Mets and Dodgers game that's coming up in a couple days. And guess how we got it, baby? The sea Geek. That's right. And what I love about SeatGeek is that they want to make sure that you're getting a good deal. So when you're on the app, look for the green dots. Green means a good deal, and red means a bad deal. Can't catch me ever getting one of them red dots. Mm -mm. And don't worry. If you're watching right now, we got the hookup for you. All you got to do is use code UNFILTERED for $20 off your tickets at SeatGeek. Again, that's $20 off your first purchase with promo code UNFILTERED. Make sure to click the link in the description to download the app. Thank you so much, SeatGeek. We love you, and thank you for taking care of all of our listeners. Nice. Did something happen with your pants, Ain't? <laughs> um, 
<laughs> well, we that had was the funniest fucking morning of my life. We fu- we we had a I don't know what happened Saturday. We just had it was an extravaganza. We just I just like really let it all let it all <laughs> out. You know what I mean? There's not there's not much happened that's like worth telling throughout the day. It was just a lot of just partying and drinking and and it was just I feel like everybody was out. The whole city was out because it was Memorial Day weekend. So everybody was just like, let's all just day drink. And then I woke up. And my pants were ripped so in we, half. You woke. <laughs> he woke up and literally he was on his knees, but face on the couch. Like I have a picture of it. He was on the ground and then he was folded over. P- pants are ripped from bottom to up. My, my or- pants are ripped from like the inside thigh. Just that's your pants. That's yes. his pants. But it was it was ripped on the thigh, and then he woke up and he couldn't find his phone, his wallet, his keys, or anything. So he started having like a meltdown. Where are and you waking up mornings. at? Your place, David's. 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 Oh boy. And he's freaking yeah. out, and he's like, "I can't find like my shit." So then he got frustrated, and then he looked and he saw the rip, <laughs> and then he got he just. And went, I got so pissed because I really like those pants, and so I got They're really Zara, angry, right? and I yeah. just fucking ripped it all apart. And I'm not gonna lie, I was walking around with my pants all ripped up like that. that it nice. looked. It yeah. looked pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Don't uh-huh. post that comment. And I, I didn't it. throw it away. I, I I'm keeping it because I'm gonna I'm gonna make a statement. What I'm kind of walk around uh, you want me to you want me to sew it back into a rug? Actually, yeah. If you <laughs> that that'll be fun. What kind of underwear were you wearing? I have just your typical black nuns. briefs. I, Zane's pro- black I, I, briefs. I, nothing special. If I was wearing like pink avocado underwear or some shit, I was like, like right. some me undies. Like, yeah. <laughs> sometimes <laughs> I those love, are the underwear I was talking about. I love me undies, but then sometimes I've been like caught like in my me undies, and I'm always like, ah, like I feel like a little boy because it's like me un- undies like shows elephants. a little too much. Yeah, it's like spaceships. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just like oops, sorry. <laughs> it's <laughs> really good underwear. You just see too much sometimes. Yeah. You know, it, it, it's 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 way too comfortable i know yeah um, but yeah no i don't know what under color underwear i was wearing i just know that like i had a really rough night and my clothes were ruined so you were being funny though like when you were drunk and just decided to rip them up no. you you didn't this like, was the morning this after. was the he morning was still after. drunk though well the morning after yes you woke up and they were ripped but yeah. something happened when you were drunk and they ripped and you intentionally ripped them yeah, right I, I was yeah. yeah i was just very upset that I couldn't find <laughs> any of my they shit. They probably ripped climbing the billboard. You're like, oh, we climbed the billboard? I saw that. I thought that was an old video. I forgot that we did that. We can't even like repeat. I just, I just, I just, I forgot that we did that. Wow. Did you see him, the naked video? Yeah. You saw the naked video too? Yeah. Yeah. Susie texted it in the group chat. I didn't see it. Oh, we did. Am I am I am I not in the group chat? Well, I are in the think, video. Well, wait, but like I saw it like you know, you you um you, hid your privates oh, in between I, your legs. I love to tuck it in when yeah. I'm drunk. I huh? told Heath that I was like, he Yeah, but you pulled doing that. You pulled your pants down before tucking. Oh you no. didn't tuck and then drop. Oh, I didn't I didn't I know gotta that. I gotta look back at that video. I don't. <laughs> I've never seen Zane's penis. It, we were fine until 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 <laughs> until <laughs> I can't believe you can still walk up on that billboard after all of these years they haven't locked that I, down I, I think it's just too much of a headache to put a lock in that top door and because there's workers in that hotel that like have to get up there every day i'm sure yeah but you know it, it was very irresponsible on my part god it just happened i can't even be like it was very, it was a long time it was a long time ago you know, it was I'm a, a different time a different person. Different. who took this picture you uh, i didn't take that picture you, someone like laid out those short like they're selling them on depop <laughs> Looks like the way yeah. that like is laid out. Yeah. They were like making yeah. them look like. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Easy pants. Yeah, right. I'm I'm just so happy I didn't throw them out yet because I do really want to wear those again. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna be able to. No, I th- I really think I could. I see people wearing more ripped up shit than that in the streets of LA. Is your sure. ass out in the back? It doesn't I, even look like the seam makes it all the way around. You know what? It kind of looks like what that girl in uh, the Road to El Dorado wears. <laughs> that girl, the white, the white skirt. Oh, the Road to El Dorado. <laughs> Wait, what's that movie called? What? Wait, what? I thought you said Hotel Arado, and no, then I go, no. wait, he said Hotel. What's ho- that movie? What's a that? Ro- the Road to El Dorado, that, that Disney, like, yeah, that, that Disney animated movie. movie. What that white girl, the, the, the girl in that movie where Look up the girl, Road to El Dorado girl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's literally uh, what that yeah. shit looked like. That's funny. <laughs> Don't ask me how that was the first thing I thought of. Yo, she's a baddie. Jesus, yeah. dude, dude, she has some cheeks out for a Disney movie. Yeah. Oh yeah. my, oh, that's, <laughs> that's yeah, that's a lot. She has some 
some cheeks. Dude, that is like, that is cheeky for Disney. Dude, Wait, did you guys- Every Instagram a, a model is trying to be right now. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this episode, Movement. If you guys have never heard of Movement, you've probably seen them. They've grown into one of the fastest growing watch brands, shipping to over 160 countries across the globe. Now Movement has expanded into blue light glasses, sleek jewelry, and even more style essentials that don't break the bank, all designed out here in California. And you guys are the first to know that Movement is having a huge site-wide sale for Father's Day. And their prices are slashed up to 40% off from May 31st to June 17th to make sure you get the perfect gift for your dad. From classic dress watches to adventure watches to summer ready, Sunnies, baby, they got it all. I honestly just love how sleek and modern they look and you could tell their quality just, just by touching them. And they all come at such a fair price. They've got super durable sunglasses also that are UV rated. They've got polarized lenses and frameless styles. And their premium blue light glasses will not only make you look great, but filter 90% of the most intense blue light rays from your digital screen so you can scroll comfortably. And now's the time to take advantage because you can get up to 40% off for Father's Day. Again, shop up to 40% off for Father's Day and save big on the perfect gift for dad. So join the movement by going to mvmt.com slash unfiltered now and enjoy up to 40% off. Again, that's mvmt.com slash unfiltered. Thank you, movement. Did you have chicken pox? I did have chicken pox. Same here. I don't Wait, feel like kids did? have chicken pox have anymore because there was like a vaccine for it, right? I'm not sure. Pretty sure. Yeah. I know. Chicken. I know. I never caught it. So many people have chicken pox scars though, too. Have you ever seen that? Like on people's faces? Is oh, it yeah. a scar from the shot? No, it's just that they itch. They, they, they itch their chicken pox their so far so much. I feel like I see that kind of often on people's faces, but like obviously I don't make them insecure being like, what's that? My, my friend Ella, she has a, she has this like scab from a shot. Where was she, she born? Get, yeah. Um, out Bra of the country. Brazil. But yeah. it's an immune, is, is it an immunization shot? Yeah. How can a shot like that give you a fucking it's that mark ring. like that? It's a it's a it's a bunch of needles in a circle oh, it's a, like this. Oh, I didn't a, know the shape of it. Okay, it's like so one it, punch. God, I didn't yeah. Know a that. lot of kids I knew like growing up who would come from like a foreign country had that like scar. From, why like, were the shots set up like that? Like why did they have to be like leave marks? It was probably just to get it done quick. It was a different country. <laughs> it was. A <laughs> I, th I think it was just like a bunch of shots in one and they just like, instead of being like, here's one, here's another. I, 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 but poor thing, you left them a fucking nasty scab. It's like scab. one of those pens that has multiple colors going around. Yeah. It. They just oh, pushed it all at once. Oh, yeah. oh pushed it all at once. <laughs> Did you feel like if you push them all together, like the, like the world will blow up? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the yeah. smallpox vaccine. Yeah, that left yeah, one. she has that. She has that, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, why would they leave out a scar like that? But it was usually my friends from like another country. Is it, is it a bunch of needles? Is that what it is? Cause it looks like it's. Did he just make that up? It, it, Cause it looks like it's a bunch of. Why does the scar scars like the small pox vaccine scar form? <laughs> Amber alert. <gasps> Silver alert. Missing endangered elderly. Oh, I always want to go out and just find. Wait, wait. One. Missing. Uh, say that again. Elderly person. I didn't missing. get it yet. Did you hear about the mom who is suing Apple right now? For what? For, what? For an Amber alert that her kid was listening. Um, wait, wait, pause. We got to shut that off. <laughs> okay, go. Um, her kid was listening with like ear, the AirPods in at like a, just like listening to like a music video or something. And it blasted the Amber Alert sound at like full volume. And it punctured like the eardrum or something like that. What? There's no setting to like not blast that sound. Okay, 12 year old boy. Oh, 12. Oh, that's pretty old. What was he listening to? Has anybody ever gone to Amber Alert with the headphones in their ears? I haven't. I've never, no. No. All right, well, that happened in 2020. Then there must have been a verdict now. Apple is yeah. accused of. Uh, I think they sued for like 75,000 or something like that. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Nothing's worse than the McDonald's coffee lady. Dude, I will yeah. never forget that. The Oh, the hot coffee? Yeah, yeah, that one is crazy. How much money did she get? It was like millions. Way too Wait, much. What happened? I she did a project on that in school when we had to pick a lawsuit. I That was what I picked. Oh, really? Yeah. It was uh, the coffee didn't say like caution, like hot or may burn or something like that. Uh, and it was just like she spilled hot coffee on she herself. Was, she had it in between her legs in the car and it spilled and she got third degree burns on her legs and she sued McDonald's. It made a couple mil. I'm pretty sure it was, I think it was at least a million dollars. That like We, sh we should send oh, her some Kermoda coffee. It was, <laughs> it's, it's the equivalent of 5 million in 2021. So back then it was 2.7 million. How bad? I bet the burns were pretty bad though. They were bad. Do you think that, 
Am I sounding like an asshole? You, like, you know that the coffee's right. hot. You feel and it. You know, if it's yeah, put it in your lips. You know, it's not like, it's not like, um. Well, she, she was, was a old. sweet old lady. And this looks like it was in the 80s. This looks old school. This is like early 80s. She's older. She's fragile. It's gonna. It should. also like shouldn't be as hot as it was. Like, yes, coffee should be hot, but it was like, it. I think they Boiling. tested it. Yeah, it was like, got it. Okay. Coffee should never be that hot. So she got the money because that coffee was, should have never been that hot. My, my uncle one time when we were kids, we were having like a big water balloon fight. And then at one point we ran out of water balloons and we were like just filling up cups of water and just going up and, uh, uh, throwing it on one another. And my cousin, Nick, he was probably like six years oh, old at no. the time. He decided to go up to like the water machine and make it super hot. And he goes outside and he has it. <laughs> Bro, and that's oh, hot. He's in, he's in front of like my uncle Ronnie. And my uncle Ronnie's smoking a cigarette, but the hot cup is steaming. And he's like, oh yeah, well th this is really hot. And my uncle Ronnie goes, oh yeah, it's really hot, huh? And he goes, and he hits it on onto my cousin, and it's hot water all on his chest. Like my cousin was an idiot; he was six years old and was just trying to be funny with hot water. But he had it go all on his chest, and it just burnt him, dude. It oh, was oh man, crazy. did he get scars from it? No, no scars, thankfully not. But he was like in like pretty serious condition for like the rest of the trip. It's crazy how hot that water gets yeah. from those coolers. It's fucking insane. Yeah. Do you have like a, an irrational fear of um, like acid attacks? I think about it all the time. Like no. someone coming up to you and throwing a bunch of acid in yeah. your face? Never. Uh, never, no. I always like, my family always has like shows like that on where it shows like attacks <laughs> and stuff like that. I grew up on IDTV. So in my head, this stuff happens all the time. But there's been so many people that are just like, in a parking lot or whatever it is, and somebody just runs up with like a cup of acid. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> and it's no. awful. And I just think about what- <sighs> Where do you even buy that shit? I don't know. So you can whip it up at home. Acid? Yeah, you can whip that shit up at home. I, I don't know I, the recipe. I, I, I don't know the recipe, but I'm just saying. <laughs> is it, baby, that's all you need is a hot tea, <laughs> hot tea, <laughs> cocoa powder, put it together. I, I have a weird fear of like, like a snake sneaking into like my house and it's just in my closet. You guys oh, are like I get scared dark, it's in my toilet. Like dark rooms or it something. Like I walk butt. in a bathroom. Like I'm worried <laughs> like a snake has like somehow found its way and is burrowed in just a weird place. Like I don't know, some freak accident where a door was left open and it made its way all the it's way. It's happened in. before. Snakes would get into events all the time. Yeah. You just open office. up a drawer, just oh. <laughs> done. Oh. Like, done. Done. <laughs> done. That's it. Like what? What? I don't like that freaks me out. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't get how people have like snakes in their house just in their like fucking tank. The feeling of having a snake in like a, a glass enclosure and then just like going there one morning and it's not in the tank anymore. I would freak. <laughs> you literally like, have to imagine, cl close up shop. Imagine going to feed it and it's just not in there. That happened to my buddies in college. I went down to San Marcos. They were going to Texas State. We we all hang out. We we smoke a blunt. We're all chilling. And then we're like playing video games and I go over to their snake cage thing and I go, where's your snake? And they go, oh yeah, about that. I don't know, we like left it out like a week ago and we haven't been able to find it. And I go, what the fuck? I'm staying here tonight, dude. And they're like, it's fine. We think it like got out and I had to sleep on the fucking couch. Absolutely High not. as hell. Like dude, with, fuck the, that. with the snake no somewhere, no. It, somewhere in the house. How big was it? Or what snake was it? Like a boa constrictor. Oh. But not like, probably like as long as this table. But I don't get it. I hated what, because uh, I, I had a friend who had like a, snake, like a big snake like that. And I hated that they had to feed him like live rats, cute little mice. Oh, They're cutest that. mice. And like, you're just seeing the mice being bought and you knew that this mice was about to get fucking swallowed whole by You're a snake. I, my friend had a, had a had one and we had to like put it in its mom's bathtub and then we would drop the mice and it was just this hell inferno thing <laughs> and we'd sit there and just wait for this little mouse to it's, die. It's truly evil that like we would sit there. And, and why wouldn't just, you just like drop it and then like walk away? You, you for Something in us wants to watch it. You know what I mean? You like sit there until it does it and you're like, oh no. That's you don't just like throw it in and then like, I think that's part of the charm the why, pe why people who buy snakes is they just like Watch that. Death. They, they love that shit. You know what? Mm. That makes sense. Sick. Yeah. Sick world. It's a sick world we live in. Some sick, sick people. Did you ever like the movie Sleepover? Love. I I watched it recently. Star studded cast. It's so good. Star the same Steve Carell is, is the Vega. Steve Carell is the neighborhood cop. Yeah. You have now 
Oscar winning Brie Larson, who plays one of like not even the popular girl's friend. Yeah, watching it now, it's Evan like those Peters. people are in it. Evan Peters. It's that I. That's a comfort movie. I is it an older Sleepover. movie? How Sleepover. It's a chick flick. It's with Alexa Vega. She was young. Like, Alexa, Alexa Vega. Alexa Vega. My friend in Florida was cousins with her. What? Mm -hmm. Alexa Vega from Spy Kids. I. Yeah, I, that's I, cool. I, oh, I was Wait, so starstruck. What? You know Alexa Vega? I don't know Alexa Vega. Sorry, I had a I, friend that were, that was cousins with Alexa Vega. That's kind of cool. Yeah. She goes to our church. She does. What? What does she even look like now? The same. She, she was just like what she did in Spy yes. Kids. I think she kind of got a boob job, right? Oh, did she? I don't know. I, I googled kind some pics and looked job. like I don't know. She got some titties. She also had three children. Y'all, Spy Kids 3D was ahead of its time. Oh my <laughs> Unbelievable. god! I'm still waiting for that. That shit. To I exist. never liked them. Spy I Kids love One Spy is amazing. Kids. Spy Kids Two, not bad. Spy Kids 3D is not good, dude. I liked all three. Is I that my mom to the first one? The thumbs. The first one. Are in the first one? It's a cuckoo. World with yeah. It is. I'm down to actually watch it again very soon. I love it Spy doesn't kind of hold up. The Spy Kid? No, the first one. The world's smallest camera. Is that the thumb? The thumb people? Yeah. Yeah. So Mr. Good. Flugel, right? Oh yeah, and he's a he's a still a big actor now. He's still on Alan lot of shit. Alan Cummings. Yeah. Remember like the bigger girl in Sleepover? Yeah. And she like goes, no, nobody likes me. They think I'm fat. And she goes, would you rather date a guy who eats celery or a brownie? <laughs> or she goes, would you rather eat a, a, a piece of celery or a brownie? Oh, yeah. And she goes, I guess a brownie. <laughs> she goes, well, then date guys who like eating brownies. <laughs> what the well, hell? That's terrible That's advice. just terrible advice. Yeah. Maybe cut that I, out. It's wait, too I, niche. I love that. Uh, but imagine like if you were bigger and like one of your friends said that to you. I, it's just like a weird way of being If like, someone said that to me, I'd be like, Thank you for that advice. <laughs> I truly want. That was cute. It was cute advice to me. It reminds me of uh, people saying not to watch Mean Girls because it's fat phobic. Oh my god! Did you see that? <laughs> Did you see that post? And they're like, it's called Mean, mean Girl. Girls. Like, yeah, <laughs> like, if anybody no complains shit. about it's mean being people. offensive, you want the movie Mean Girls to be a nice movie? Yeah, that's no fun. How does that fucking make sense? <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> I love it. Who wrote that article out? Unbelievable. Mean Girls is fatphobic. No shit. <laughs> Promotes bullying. You don't say. Mean girl. That's a mean fucking girl. You're a mean girl. You're a bitch. Mean girl, Tatey. Tatey. <laughs> You're a mean girl, Katie. You're a bitch. I'm from Africa with all the little monkeys. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's, oh, what a classic. It's crazy. You, you If you wa watch that movie again, like, <laughs> what? <laughs> it's, what, it's one of the most Man, cool. I'm thinking about the edit. Watch that movie again. You'll see how many big fucking actors are in that movie. It's insane. The cast. Tina Fey. Yeah. I just, you just never realize who like who they actually were when you like watch it. The first oh yeah, like years. Amanda Seyfried, Rachel McAdams. She, you know she's from no, Allentown? them you know, but like just like the side characters. Oh Did really? You know? I never noticed. Oh, she would be from Allentown. She went to our rival school. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this episode, BetterHelp. Life can be overwhelming, and many people are burned out without even knowing it. Uh, guilty. Symptoms can include lack of motivation, mm -hmm. feeling helpless or trapped, mm -hmm. detachment, fatigue, and more. We associate burnt out with work, but that's not the only cause. Any of our roles in life can lead us to feel burnt out, and BetterHelp Online Therapy wants to remind you to prioritize yourself. Exactly. Talking with someone can help you figure out what's causing stress in your life. And if you've never heard of BetterHelp, it is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist, so you don't have to see anybody on camera if you don't want to. And even better, it's much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. And I know personally, I don't like going to doctor's offices or going into a waiting room or sitting there, and it, it's just uncomfortable. It's hard to talk to somebody in person sometimes because, I don't know, it's it's... It's hard to open up, I guess. Yeah, and honestly, I feel like I'd get more anxious having to leave my house right, and going exactly. all the way to this like doctor's office and you know to I, meet I, with somebody you don't know. Exactly, I want to be right in the comfort of my own uh, house. Yep. I would say better my bed. Yeah, you know, and I'm you still, can you can be in bed. Exactly. And they don't even have to know because they don't even have to see you if you don't want. Exactly. You know, you don't want to have to talk to your friends or your family members about all your problems. It's better it to be talk to some, sometimes. Exactly. It's better to talk to a therapist that is uh, has an unbiased opinion. That's right. I usually have to tell Zane exactly what he wants to hear, but his BetterHelp therapist, you know, gives him the hard truth. Exactly. So if you want to be like me and use BetterHelp, be. You can get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash Zane and Heath. Again, that's better h e l p dot com slash Zane and Heath. We love you, BetterHelp. Thank you. If you All wanna right. come out 
and play the game. It's never too late. Hey. All right. The name of the game is how many drinks will it take to take your friend home? As Opposite, sex, the opposite, the opposite sex. sex. So you, have you seen have you seen the trend on TikTok where um like a guy will go through um all his friends and he'll they'll be morphed into girls and then he <laughs> and he he uh, tells you how many drinks he would need to have before he takes his friend Shit, home. I don't even like count my drinks. Well, no, it's just like it's, a, just like, it's pretty much you you're rate basically them. rating them on how much you would need to drink in order to find them attractive. Okay. But we're about to get canceled right now saying that we're not going to have sex with one of our guy friends that looks not attractive as a woman. <laughs> oh, so let's play I the thought, game. Oh, yeah, let's play the game. Oh, this is me. Hey, wait, that's Matt. That's not the most attractive picture of me, though, but. Oh. Oh my god. Wait, you look like my sister. You that looks like Jason's assistant. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what? I thought, I thought you looked like my sister. It kind of looks like my mother. It kind of looks like your cousin Serena. Yeah, it looks like my family member. Bro, that looks just like Jess. That's Zane's so like, fucking I'd fucking funny. hit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, not my tie. You look like a teacher. Should we go around? How many shots? I guess. Okay. Well. Oh, I don't think Matt likes this game. Yeah. <laughs> he gets like really like upset. Well, I don't really even take shots. I would have to be like pretty drunk though. For for that? Yeah. To, like I wouldn't approach her. Well, th I, that I would agree. if she approached me if I was really drunk and I was like, this is yeah. Matt, well that's weird. Stop that would being, be your stop sister. Being mean to her. That oh would my be God. that'd be your sister, Matt. I'm trying to like play it differently in my mind. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I think I would have at least I'd be 15 drinks. 17. <laughs> I, I would say seven to eight shots. Okay, that's fair. Okay. I'm a, <laughs> okay, cowboy. <laughs> I'm gonna need me a whole bottle of Fireball. Oh, oh like a, a small handle? <laughs> oh yeah, a whole handle that, Fireball. That, that's okay. like, I need Fireball for this one. Yeah. Oh, come on. I feel like I'm, oh. What, that, you're getting the worst Yeah, that's a terrible picture. Well, let's see, let's see. All right, let's, let's see Zane. Zane. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. Wait. That looks like oh, who do you look that looks like? like Claudia Oshry on the morning toast. <laughs> I wish we could change your outfit. No, once it, not, throw me off. Wait, did it turn it into a blouse? Yeah. Jordan, wait, are there tits, go back to the original. Are there tits oh, on okay, my? Okay, okay. Oh, I thought because I said. Oh, yeah. So a little light went on my shirt, so I, I thought it made tits. <laughs> that's funny. I'm. I'm not gonna lie. That's a dope outfit for a girl. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you look like somebody who works at like a like a high up company and you have a like a powerful position. I mean, you look like a re so it, receptionist at a salon. I don't know, you look like a like a, a startup for but for like a dog food or something. <laughs> so this is <laughs> like we're a real laid back organic. office. CEO, Bring your dog. CEO of Chewy. CEO of GoPuff. Yeah. yeah. Wait, so how oh, many Oh boy, wait, wait. this go one's going to be wait, no, no, how we, many how many shots? That is mm. the game. Not I'm, my type. I'm gonna be honest. I think more than Matt. That's fine. I look. I have very um very sharp male features. It's it's so giving guess. it's giving me like you blacked out on the billboard at Saddle Ranch <laughs> that I would need to be. I get it. I you get it. You seem in your mid thirties. Yeah, I do look much older. As you a look yeah. older yeah. as a woman. Older. Yeah, that stinks. Oh boy. Gorgeous. Now we have Heath. Oh, I know exactly what he's gonna oh look like. God. Oh my god. She like Halsey. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. my god. I would do two shots. Dude, honestly, <laughs> easiest. Those lips, oh my gosh. You look gorgeous. The eyebrows need some I, I wish she didn't pluck them. I just that. I just don't have eyebrows. No, you look very two thousands. Wait, if you look really quick, he kind of looks like Kate Beckinsale. <laughs> look really quick. Just I don't know how that is. Wow, he. You look gorgeous. Yeah, pretty yeah, gorgeous. You have very plump lips and as the, a girl. The nose is really nice too. Yeah, and the rosy cheeks. Thin eyebrows are in, man. Yeah, what lips? That may is be that? what your kid will look like. I hope. <laughs> okay, I honestly three shots. Yeah, I would, two. I would say four. Okay, four shots. Very attractive. Oh my! Oh. Oh. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna be able to sleep at night after this. <laughs> is this I already know I look like a guy enough. All so. right, turn her into a girl. Oh! oh I look like my brother. Wait, that looks like me. No, that's. Oh my I god, it does look like Zane. <laughs> oh my god, it is Zane. Why does that look like me? Well, it, I look like it kind of looks like your brother. It looks like yeah, it looks like my brother. That is literally my brother. Whoa. Yo, that's Italian right yeah. there. Yeah. Cut the mozzarella. Yeah. <laughs> Yours edited better than ours edited that, as a girl. That, oh, that's, that's freaky how much that does look like 
your offspring. Oh. Okay, how many shots? Bum. He looks like he would it's buy bottle service. Like, he, he looks no, like he, he would buy bottle service. Cool. He's in the crypto. Yeah, yeah. Like, he's got it he going. He is a club promoter, and but he drives a Mercedes. But way too much into crypto. It's like, shut the fuck and up. And he is, dude. like, yeah. doused in cologne. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Spicy cologne. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, yes, baby, with that purse. Let's go. I, know, I wish it was a different picture, so it looked a little more, re like, believable. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking past the dress, Mariah. I'm not. Are you, I don't know, you kind of do look like a prince. <laughs> yeah. I'd say one to 10, I'd rate it, not shots. I'd rate it uh, seven. Yeah. He's I'm, a good looking dude. I would say so. <laughs> Y'all are just being nice. <laughs> Y'all stop lying. <laughs> I, I, okay, now we got Oh, David. no, I'm not going to like this oh, one. This David. Is be weird. David's always pretty cute, though, when I've seen pics of him as a girl, I think. Oh, I don't. How often do you see pictures of him as a girl? <laughs> Wait, I think <laughs> <you're back. laughs> Just chips, so it's what that oh, yeah. <laughs> I, this is giving me horse girl energy. Yeah. yeah. Like he's he's engaged. <laughs> he's got some cheekbones, I'll tell you that. Oh, I don't like I can't I don't yeah. like to look at this. I, I don't, don't like, like looking at this. That's pretty crazy. He looks he looks like he doesn't leave you alone. <laughs> oh man. Uh I blacked out. Like yeah. I I want to wake up and I don't I don't want anybody to talk to me. I don't want them to tell me anything about last Definitely. night. You're not texting this girl out. No go fucking ghosting. way. Ghosting. No but, way. But she's blowing up your phone the next day. Yeah, like, hey, <laughs> she will not She'll leave go, you alone. Everything cool? <laughs> Her name is hey, definitely Sarah. Yeah. That's yeah. Sarah. Last night was so much fun. We should do it again. Oh, oh he, I'm not sure how this picture is going to turn out, but yeah. bring it on. Todd. That literally this is, this could is be his mom. A dental hygienist. Yes, it is. But a sexy dental hygienist. I don't know. I'm not there. drinking anymore. I'd be like, <laughs> I'm going home. <laughs> No, I'm I, going, yeah, I can't do that. I can't do that. Wait, why does it look like Kelly Clarkson? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, kind of. Very uh, circle. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> he had a lot of potential. He had a lot of potential because I'm seeing some features where I'm like, oh, okay. But when you put it all together, it's a hard pass for yeah, me. Yeah, open the robe. Oh, yeah. God. Let's let's <laughs> let's 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 see let's see the rack. Mm. It definitely looks like that could be his mom. You know, uh, you know, Yard House, where you can get the full yard of beer. It'd probably take that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to yeah, myself. Yeah, yeah. Oh, just beer drunk. <laughs> yeah. just, oh, beer drunk is just a whole you know, yard. I've never had a tower of beer. It's so fun. Me neither. I've never had it once. Every time I'm with a group, like we always see it. We're like, that looks fun. Not once as a group. Dave ever and Buster's. Let's go to Dave and Buster's and do it. Really? Yeah. Is, uh, I will. After my psoriasis, we'll celebrate <laughs> with a tower of beer. I've just never had it. It looks so fun. It is fun. It's a vibe. All right, we got Jason. Let's go. Oh, oh I hope it does Henry too. <laughs> oh Wait, my god, he looks like Henry. Wait, why did it turn him into a child? No, well, yeah, like a f he's a female, so like a little younger, you know. Oh man, I can't answer. He this looks, one. he looks just the same. Yeah, yeah, he, he does look the same with longer hair. Nothing's really this, changed. This lady is feeding pigeons in the park. Oh yeah, yeah. yo, it's giving him a little yeah. lost in New York. <laughs> yeah, it's like this is really like. Like, hey, I'm Nancy, just uh, trying to find some fun in life. Oh, like, but I would love her to be my aunt, though. Yeah, she's she got, looks so fucking cool. She looks and like sweet. she spends a lot of time in Phoenix. <laughs> How are you getting this right? <laughs> you, <laughs> well, you don't spend time in, in Phoenix, you lose time. <laughs> 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 okay, this oh, may, this this may go over good. well. Yeah. Scott. I could never take a photo of myself like that. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Dude, Dude like sober, sober. <laughs> Linus the muscle, she can get it. Yeah, the muscle's like a little scary to me, but the hair looks gorgeous. Yeah. It's really good hair. How do they do this? And plump lips, huh? That may be, if Jack and Scott have kids. Wait, it kind of does look like Jack. It has like Jack's hair. That's weird. I would say three shots. Yeah. Or no, two shots, three shots. Is he lower to get? Three, three shots, three, three, two shots, shots. three shots. Two three shots. 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 And pretty, pretty girl. Oh uh, boy. Nerd. Here we got Jonah. Was he eating Nick. Cheetos? Look at his thumbs. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, he looks awesome. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to say. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, you slammed that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> it's what I was expecting.
joking, but not at all, too. I really thought I was going to see him, like, in a new light. Like, <laughs> I bet she's low-key funny. <laughs> You're a she mean is, girl. She, is low key she funny. seems like the sweetest thing. <laughs> but can be a bitch if she wants to, you know? Yeah, and you're like, whoa, Stephanie. <laughs> Good thing you had that in you. I, I I feel like she works at Jonas Kebab. Oh, <laughs> uh, I I can see I can see her as a stand up comedian. Okay. <laughs> like That's I'm funny. saying I can see her. Oh, I forgot that we're even <laughs> have, to, have to. I'm I'm passive. <laughs> I bet she's real sweet, though. Next. Okay, Natalie. Okay, we got now. We're being she's so gonna, mean to our friends. She's gonna look perfect. Right, go. She's gonna look hot. Nah. She, look, she looks like a scam she artist. She looks like she owns a hair. <laughs> yeah. Tinder swindler. Yeah, that Tinder swindler right there. I don't know. That guy looks like he owns a, like a hair salon down in like Brentwood. Yeah. <laughs> like, how we doing today? Here, yeah. we're gonna... <laughs> Oh, you know where you're finding him? Mykonos nightclub. Oh, oh yeah. and he doesn't leave. He, he, he yeah, does the all day night. drinking, night drinking, everything. Yeah. This wow. is crazy how technology is getting I know. like this. I, I'm liking the ones girls turning into guys more. I think it's like editing it better, yeah, it I feel real. like. How is it editing it better than us when all you gotta do is just put a hair in makeup? I think, cause like, I think it must be, it has to be like crowdsourcing all these different types of photos of men and women and understanding the features and Not angles. a bad hairline too. Yeah, good hair, good beard. Yeah, Natalie. Oh, oh no. Ew. You're gonna look like a Russian, Come on, a Russian princess. This is our last one. Oh. 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 Wait, what? It, oh. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hear me out. It's kind of a mix between Arya Stark and Lord. Yeah, no, Lord. I Lord. No, no, I, see I don't Lord. see Arya Stark at all. I see Lord. I though. see Lord. It's just like a good Catholic schoolgirl. It yeah, just looks like a cousin. Lord, uh, Matt. Lord buying Zila Fitness. <laughs> go, go, go. Lord buying Zila Fitness. Go. Oh me. Yeah. Lord, I've been really trying this new um, pre-workout in in. A powder called Zila. Um, I think it's one of David Dubrick's um, his friends, and it's just it's helped me relax and welcome a new. I, I just want to hear. I just want to hear Zila in that. I, what is Zila? That sounds Zila. like Zila. Didn't know she had an accent. Also, just found out that Dua Lipa has an accent. I've never heard no, she Dua Lipa. Had... Dua Lipa's from England. Yes, yes I just found out. She has out. an accent? It's beautiful, like a good posh accent, yeah. Yes. All night, son, I got you. And you don't really hear when they're singing. If you wanna talk about it. <laughs> but why don't they sing in like a- Because it you... doesn't sell to Americans. Yeah. Type in Dua Lipa talking. And, and it's not no fake? Idea. No idea. It's just like, it's really elegant. Like they. Um, I don't know, it's Wait, just listen. more articulate and it's not like she's like law or she's not like Adele from like Essex. Oh yeah. But I'm done with the conversation, <laughs> babes. <laughs> What is Dua Lipa's accent? Honestly, I have no idea. That okay, is you can crazy. pause it. Crazy. Okay, wow, that really answers Where, a lot of questions. Where did y'all think she was from? Like no, I Missouri? thought she just had a normal yeah. like, voice. Not normal, I know, sorry. I just valley. thought she had like an American voice, yeah. <laughs> that um, is wild. I thought she was fucking born here. I like, found that uh, out yesterday. Dude, we've seen Dua Lipa live in concert before. I haven't. I don't know, you're at Lollapalooza. Or oh, her in, that in was Vegas. a rough night. No, I was not at Dua Lipa. <laughs> oh, I remember that. <laughs> Night. I, that was you were in a fight with your ex, and you were like, <laughs> that was a bad night for me. And I think half the night I was looking for you guys, so I was like lost. Dua Lipa was performing, but I was lost on the other side of the festival. That's right. That's right. I was not sober. That's for damn sure. <laughs> oh, shit. Cool. I actually like her more now. Yeah, she's you cool. You should date her. She would never go for a girl like me. I was trying to do an accent. No, do a leap, but she would never go for a guy like mine. Somebody recently threw a piece of cake at the Mona Lisa. At first, I thought it was like a joke. I didn't think it was like a real thing that happened because I know I just saw a video like a few weeks ago of a kid that was doing like a prank around the Mona Lisa. So I thought it was just like some sort of prank. I didn't think it was like a real thing that someone threw fucking cake on the actual painting. But... Isn't it a fake painting up there anyways? That's yeah. what I heard too, that they wouldn't For years I've heard that. Putting the Mona Lisa For on For shit display. like this. Yeah. Then why even- then Go why, look the, at it. Why go like, look at it? It doesn't no. make any sense. I think, I think 
people go to look at it because they made an exact rep replica of it and they know it's in the same building. Okay, right. so man throws cake at the Mona Lisa. If you're Lisa. confused, this guy disguised himself as an old lady and then he stood up and threw cake at the Mona Lisa. Hilarious. Yeah, good one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's- get a, get a job. Was he trying to, was he trying to- um, Make a statement? Make a statement, like- a in climate, a climate protest. Climate protest. Cli okay, that, that makes sense. Nothing funny. says climate change- Like cake. Like cake on the Mona Lisa. Uh, he goes, think of the earth. These are the people- Wait, I'm surprised he's not being tackled right now. Like it looks- Well, because there's a piece of glass. If he actually- Oh, it's a- There's a piece of glass over the Mona Lisa, dude. Oh! There's a glass in front of the painting. It's not like, it's not- It's not a big great. deal. It's not a big deal at all. A piece of cake at the Mona Lisa for climate change. Yeah, protests. I think it's. I think it's more. Stu I think it's more silly that this kid thought he was doing something. Who 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 is seeing that? Like you're obviously protesting to try to like get people involved and. Is anybody going like yeah? Wait, you like know what? Well, you throwing that made me. That doesn't make make me pay attention to climate change though. I like. I feel like there's better ways to promote something that you care about than to throw cake at a painting that a lot of people. I feel like are attached to. That'd be a good fun Halloween costume. <laughs> <laughs> just Mona Lisa. The Mona Lisa with just cake on it. Like, do y'all remember? Do y'all remember earlier in the summer where the guy threw the cake? That's what I did. Climate change. And then it'll be it'll be the disguise, like your <laughs> the lipstick. Yeah, like, oh. Your friends in the oh, wheelchair wait. and you're the painting. We're a seeing cu we're, a couples costume. We're seeing that on a shirt tomorrow. I'm surprised that I haven't oh, seen somebody yeah. really have that on a shirt yet. Wait, what? Uh, the Mona Lisa? Mona Lisa yeah, just like with the cake, cake on the, like, as a shirt. Are that many people talking about this though? I feel like this is good, like I could see it on a shirt. I could see one of those fucking those trendy LA like clothing mm -hmm. stores putting that on a hoodie yeah. in a fucking heart. I beat. definitely either dreamt this or my brain came up with it, but the in my head the real one is like somewhere in Italy and you look through a little hole in the wall and you can see it. That's where my head is at right now. Um, but maybe, I maybe definitely made that up. You look through a hole like, in a wall. Say to there's like, say there's like a stone wall. There's a little mini like, window cut out and there's a line of oh. people and you go in and you can see the Mona Lisa. Maybe, from, there's, there maybe is, there's another painting that like has there, that as a- maybe, I don't know how I would come up with that. There's gotta be something or I dreamt yeah, it. Yeah, that makes sense. So it's like protected behind this like brick wall but or something. I, and you could, I feel like I made it up. That's a little that's weird not though. That's not true. That. But seeing that many people around it like that, that's pretty crazy how it's like, I didn't think that they would allow that many people in one room to be surrounding. If the, it was the real so, one, it'd be different, right? It's not the real one. It is the real one. Oh, it is. I don't think it's the I'm real so one that's confused. hung up. I really think they protect that shit in a I think at yeah. certain times of the day, maybe there would be a reason why they put would put up a fake one. If there was like a big party or something there, like oh, if it would be, if it would be prime moment for like the a heist, no, are there actual I feel like, like be more protected like art thieves? Yeah, yeah. like that's yeah. A, isn't the scream still you, stolen? Uh, you didn't see this? the documentary? It's such an interesting documentary on Netflix. It's about robbers who robbed an entire. Museum. I thought you were gonna say the <laughs> the movie with the Rock. Isn't it Salvador Dali's The Scream or who painted uh, it the was Scream? These that stole like all like the oh, the the, the, the most priceless uh, piece of art. Oh, and it was recovered. It's still missing. To this oh, day. yeah. But they I, found some of them in this one. One of these. Oh, good. Where's the, the screen Declaration was of Independence? That's in D.C. But like, <laughs> wait, go it? back up. Uh, you go to the. <laughs> Hold on. That looks like something like a parent would hang on their fridge that their kid did. Bitch, that's wait, the... is that the act? That's not the actual one. That's that's the, the that's the painting. That's no, the it's not. No, it's not. That's yes. not the actual yes, one. It is. Wait, what's the one that I see all the time on the Maybe internet? Maybe Starry Night. Go to Google <laughs> Images and search the Scream. Well, I think there is like one that you think is more. <laughs> Looks like that. There's no way that's the actual drawing. Yeah, that, that is it. That is the first time I've ever seen that. You've probably seen a more like duller. N look, I've seen. Wait, Zay, I feel like I agree with you. Like, did it look? That it looked like a children's painting. There's no fucking way that's the one I've seen. I, I thought it was like really painted. Yeah, it was like paint, not like with crayon. That looks well, bad. Mandela effect. That's literally a crayon. It's look, a that's a fucking crayon. It's not painting. It's pastel. pastels. I don't. That shit looks like fuck. I, I don't. I don't ever remember it looking like that. That would be something if you drew it in class. The teacher would pull your parents aside and be like, and it's. This is a little bit creepy. <laughs> uh -huh. And it's darker. The one I saw is darker. There's more green on the top. Is it, I think you're thinking of Starry Night. 
That's what I said. Sorry, Night. You, let me see Starry Night. Starry Night looks just the same. Starry Night's like pastels. Is no, that, no, this is not. No, not this one. Sick of Starry Night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over it. It's there's so There's no out. way that's the, there's a, I will, uh, no. That shit ain't that good. What do you mean that ain't that good? Starry Night ain't that good for the time. Matt, if your kid came home with that, you'd be like, oh, very good. <laughs> Absolutely okay. not. Okay, don't, don't, say, right. don't say for the time because we were carving and chiseling rocks into the most beautiful sculptures That's that are true. insanely detailed and- Correct. Wait, what's but that? But that was also before like- What's that? This version of Scream is one of four. One of four what? Scroll down. Made. There you go. One of four made by Edvard Munch. Find the other ones. Cause I know that fucking they, is not it. They all look the same. Wait, so so the buys, wherever the hell that realtors Southies. Sotheby's. Whatever. They they own it. This money hungry motherfucker, he saw that one did well, so he just made three hey, more. Did that dark one, is that the one you remember? No. No. Oh, okay. That's what I had in my mind. <laughs> okay. Squidward. They all look Closer so to that style, but not but still not. They all and it look was so different. This is fucking a load of horse. That's <laughs> it. That's what I remember. Is given third grade project. I wish, uh, I wish we had a TV on this side so I can make my neck even. The shit hurts. Did you see my dotted my dotted drawing? You do. You do. I think me. that was better than that. I agree. I really do. I think my rug looks better than that. Did you see the the, the art piece where the guy was running on a trampoline and he kept going back and forth over and over with the stairs and the trampoline? No, no, it was just a guy just running. Oh, back and oh, forth and he has the crown and he yes, draws on the he side. He draws of the wall. it on the wall. Yeah. That so pretty. what the hell is that? Where he just jumps. So just uh, just imagine. Uh, so there's a bunch of people just like, like just watch. It, it was like a what do you call it? Like is it an installment? What is it called? Like a uh, like an exhibition. Like an exhibition, right? And it was this guy was just running along the wall and had a trampoline, and he draw drew on the wall just a line from where he was running and then jumping I back and forth, kept jumping, now. going back and jumping, and everyone's just like, and he's making it look like he's a fucking visionary. Oh boy. Like I don't I really want to see how it turned into, but I would not sit and watch a guy going. You know but then I, I feel like people get like mad at you when you make fun of it. It's like you're not seeing it. I mean art is art has to be critiqued. Calling art stupid is a little blindsided. Oh no, I don't think I but didn't you say you can art say was that's not for me. You can actively say that. You know who I have a lot of respect for? People chalk artists. I love where it, it looks just, 3D. When it just gets rained away. Oh, that type of stuff. It's kind of zen. It's a a mate because yeah. they're unbelievable artists. You know what I'm talking about? You know, chalk on the ground. <laughs> yeah. There's people that make insane 3D. Oh yeah, that shit is crazy. They spe I just want to know like if they were almost done and then it started pouring and they didn't get a oh, picture yeah. of it. Yeah, it's just temporary. Have you seen the, um, the sand guy who puts sand on a clear chair. He shines a light over top of it and it projects the shadow underneath of like whatever his art is. Oh. And he just rearranges the sand on the chair and he does the most art. insane. Art. Sand art, sand chair art. All right guys, thanks again for watching another episode of Zany Heath Unfiltered. Hope you had a blast. Um, you can check out this episode every Monday on audio form on Spotify, Google, uh, and then you could uh, watch the video form of this uh, podcast Careful. on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Zane and Heath. I was not reading anything. I was trying really hard to remember that. It was really good. Thank you. <laughs> um, you could always check out our coffeecromoto.com. We have every flavor in the book. We have about 40 flavors on the site. If you go check it out, um, everything is available there. Um, Cremoda.com. I think you hit it all. Patreon. Oh yeah, you can always check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash Zane and Heath, $5 a month, and you get- Everything you ever imagine. You, can, <laughs> you get 40 flavors. <laughs> <laughs> early access to the episodes, ad-free. You're gonna get a bonus high episode every single month. Uh, we have alternating guests that come on sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, Brittany Broski episode. We, we've we done quite a few, so make sure to check that out. Don't and then, one. <laughs> you can only pick one. You can only pick one. Um, we had Susie on. I had Alicia. We had Alicia. I was kidding. I was kidding. I, was kidding. I, <laughs> I just didn't want to ramble. Um, but yeah, we also have a Discord on there. We do live Q and A's every month, and we we just post random things on there that we find funny. I was actually I want to talk about. Uh, talk oh, we also uh, keep recording the podcast for like another like 10, 15 minutes, um, and it's just a uh, 
an unwind with unfiltered and we kind of just like hang out here and everything's off the record talk yeah we talk shit about either the episode Everything. or shit that we don't want public you know we call it unwind with unfiltered baby and you could find that on the patreon patreon.com slash zane it's basically what happens when we stop recording so right now we're about to unwind it's basically we're gonna unwind <laughs> right now they right. do this to me every year bye, bye. guys we're gonna Peace. get ice cream